So about eight months ago, the Trail Loop came out with the Apple Watch Ultra. And this has been like the thinnest, most comfortable band Apple has ever made. I love this band. The problem is, this thing costs a lot of money. Why is this so much? And are there cheaper options out there? Now, if you saw the title of this video, you already know that there is. And that's where these come in. This I got from Amazon and I got all three of them for under 20 bucks. Three watch bands for under 20 bucks when the one from Apple, which is right here, sells for $99. What you're probably thinking is since they're so cheap, they must be pretty crappy, right? They're not. Like I've had one of these for like six months and then I just rebought all three of them just because the price was so good. I gave the other one to my son. He's been wearing it every single day and it's still holding up really well. So what's the big difference? Well, if I take a quick look at the ones that match the closest, I'm sure the titanium lug on the fake one isn't real titanium. It's probably just a stainless steel that's brushed to make it look a little more titanium. You can also look and the fabric itself underneath the Velcro is a lot looser. Like it's not as tight as the one that Apple makes. Well, I'm sure the process that Apple takes to actually get this, it's gonna last longer. But as I said, the six month one that I've had, like there's a little frame piece that came out. Okay, so when I took a look at this band again to film, I noticed that it was actually worse than I remembered it. He's worn this out pretty good. I still recommend the band because if you're just a normal person, you're not gonna wear it down as bad as he has. That's just what he does. If you want me to give him or to buy him a $100 band, leave a comment down below, hit that like button. Maybe if I get enough, I'll justify it. I mean, it's basically like throwing $100 away because I still think he's gonna trash that one as well. Just, just the way he does. Like, don't give your kids anything good. So, all right, back to the video. And the stitching itself has held up really good. So I'm not worried about the band breaking and like the watch falling off my wrist with this. Now I do pay closer attention to this one than I would the one from Apple. You'll also notice that the little orange tag is longer for some reason. And I will say the original one that I got like opening it up all the way was a lot harder because the Velcro is thicker. Now, for whatever reason on this new set that I got, it seems fine. It doesn't catch as much as it did on the ones from before. It's a lot easier to put on. It's just as easy to put on as the one from Apple. Now, I understand that the one from Apple has a better quality. You can see some things that just look better, but it's not like this much better. If I bought all three of these from Apple, I'm spending $300. $20 versus $300. I could buy 15 sets of the fake ones. That's, that's 45 bands for the price of three of the ones from Apple. That's insane. So if you've been on the fence about trying to check these out, I highly recommend it. I got the link down below. As I said, I've had one for over six months. I say it's pretty safe to check out. Also, if you have tried one out and had good or bad luck, let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you all in the next one. God bless.